मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर लोकेश गुप्ता वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल रिसर्च शॉर्ट वीडियो टूडे वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द यूज ऑफ मीन मीडियन एंड बॉर्ड ड्यूरिंग अवर लास्ट प्रेजेंटेशन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द मी ए सेंट्रल मेजर ऑफ सेंट्रल टेंडेंसी तो मीन मीडियन मोड इज द सेंट्रल टेंडेंसी मेजरमेंट बट द इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग इज वेन एंड वे आर वी यूज मीन मीडियन मोड If we talk about the psychological sciences research, obviously in psychological sciences research, so many research articles, uh, even at the time of the uh, when we start our data processing, so obviously we use mean, median, and mode. So we talk about that you know, all these three mean, median, and mode. First of all, we talk about the uses of mean when the score are distributed symmetrically around the central point. and when the distribution is not badly skewed so whenever we are talking about the normal distribution obviously whenever we use the frequency distribution so we just make a graphical representation uh, on the basis of maybe sometime bar graph or maybe line graph if we approximate we take a data from entire population or a large population sample so we have a distribution like this is generally is considered as a normal distribution so these things is called symmetrical distribution so most of the uh, symmetrical distribution from midpoint or central point so in this case generally mean is the better uh, option to consider the as a representative of our data but if suppose our data is badly skewed badly skewed means is uh, suppose data is uh, data shape look like this if we proceed entire data into a nominal uh, in a scale or we just convert it into through it's a generally called the skewed data badly skewed or maybe sometimes shape like this the bunch of data in a one side and most of the data in a uh, is not uh, at the midpoint so in this case we are not considering the mean as a representative so mean is the center of the gravity of the distribution and each score contribute in in its determination suppose if you want to calculate the mean of a, a data so obviously suppose we have four info, four data 2 uh, 3 and 7 so obviously we just add all these three divide by 3 so 2 plus 3 5 5 plus 7 is 12 12 by 12 divided by 3 is the 4 is our mean value so is the representation of entire data so determination from each value this is the important thing from mean side but in case of median and mode we are not talking about these thing we are not uh, focusing on the entire value we just focusing on the midpoint or maybe the most frequently and the when the measure of the central tendency having the greater stability is wanted so we need a, a stable measure of central tendency so obviously we use mean value and if we want to go further statistical analysis so obviously mean is the basic statistic suppose we want to calculate other statistic like uh, standard deviation coefficient of correlation so computation of mean is very important uh, to go for standard deviation and correlation of coefficient and the other parametric statistic so that's why parametric statistic all of the parametric statistic use the mean value but uh, other than parametric non parametric statistic use the mean and median and mode value because it's called it's uh, is the uh, representative of the entire uh, values and it's the uh, if we see the normal distribution so is the midpoint of uh, our particular representative data so many statistic based on the mean if we talk about the median so median is the exactly midpoint whenever we have data suppose this is the entire data or we want to divide it into a two group so obviously we need midpoint or suppose if we have a data starting from this to this suppose the starting point is 12 and the last point is 94 So we need the midpoint where we split our entire data into two group. So we need median. Okay. So suppose we need the point. Suppose we have the point of fifty-seven. So from fifty-seven score, we just split our entire data into a two group. So this is the important requirement of median. 
most of the non parametric statistic required the median calculation because we just we are not based on the uh, mean value we just based on the median value and when there are extreme scores which would mark affect the mean extreme score do not disturb the median so again the if data is badly skewed if data is have a extreme scores so we can use the median instead of mean value to so badly skewed means look like this okay so we use median instead of mean and when it is desired a certain score could influence the central tendency but all that know about the they are above or below the median value so if value is above or below the median value or if they have extreme scores obviously they doesn't affect the median value so these are the uses of median value and mode when a quick and approximate measure of central tendency is all that is wanted suppose uh, we just know the our uh, uh, general size of uh, population so being as a businessman being as a shopkeeper so basically we just uh, uh, take a order of where, which is most frequently sold in our organize our particular shop so at that time generally we see the mode instead of mean and median we just uh, suppose we want to order 10 a uh, particular uh, type of t-shirt so obviously there are most probability eight t-shirt is from medium size or maybe one or two t-shirt at the size of small or the large size so most frequently coming value is considered as a mode so and when the measure of central tendency should be most typical value so generally we use the mod value so these are the main uses of mean median and mod i hope you like this video uh, please share this video or subscribe this channel if you have any doubt you just uh, send me a comment box thank you so much